Hey, what is up guys? We got another coaching VOD video today. This time we're going to be watching Maverick, or Mav in game, playing Shell on TDM Penthouse. So his team comp here is Shell, Aletta, Chem, against a Sindri, Skatey, Ya. Yeah. Wow, you guys are countered very bad. Um, Skatey counters your whole team, Sindri counters your whole team, except maybe the Chemist is good against her. And you guys should be destroying the Yaw. What I want to see this game is you doing good, charging up your beam to heal. You can wall clip the Sindri turret to heal off that as well. I want you guys to be saving your abilities to dodge the Skadey web. And whenever you're near the Yaw, I want you to chase down the Yaw and hope she doesn't run away. If that happens, I'll talk about that a bit later. Let's see what we can do here. You should, you should want to avoid the skatey or bait out her web. If she has no web, then try to get in and dive her. I would use your ability to go in against the skatey as long as she has no web. Let's see what we do here. You could try to sneak up into this space here. And if skatey does shoot you, you can reaction time and use your ability to dodge it. But playing safe back here is fine as well. It just gives the other team opportunities to get up here. Like, if their Sindri came up and put a turret here, you wouldn't see it till it's too late. Skitty could walk up all the way over here and you wouldn't really see it. So you guys are playing passive, that's fine. Just make sure you don't get snuck up on. Looks like the other team's playing very passive, too. Good target priority. Good ult. Let's see if you're going to use it. You got to be a bit careful here. When you ulted... You know that the turret's going to see the alt, so right now you're at 3,000 health. When you TP, the turret's going to shoot you a couple times. You want to get a little bit more health from the chemist before going, I'd say. And the turret's still up looking at you. Yeah, way back here. I think the best move is to look up and destroy the turret. See, it's right above your head. You can look up and wall clip it even so it can't hit you back. If you were to look up here, the very top you'd be able to just hit it without it seeing you. It'd be a lot better to get rid of the turret threat while it's free and easy. Nobody's around protecting it. But it is one of your biggest threats this game. It's constant damage. It probably did 3,000 damage to you in just that fight, but you could have broken it. Oh, it's not much you could do here. When you're waiting for your team... It'd be good, just be good to just watch your surroundings when you're waiting for the team. You can wall clip on that little right edge there, and you're still safe, but you see if they're coming up to you. We just got snuck up on there. Got the Yaz in our spawn. Chasing her down, very good. Yaz dashed in your spawn, which is great. It means she has no more escapes. She's basically... Her only way to survive is if she kills you and dashes out. Well, he ulted and dashed out. Okay. Look, your Aletta died for it. This is a really awful fight to take here. In this alleyway... When you, you know the other two are over here, I'd assume. But when you see this Sindri in here... There's no safe place for you to go. Your safety this fight was to go in this room or push these guys, but these guys are just so far away. Closing the gap on them takes away half your health. I would recommend going around all the way to the left of the map. And maybe flanking that Sindri in there. Because when a shell can wall clip against a Sindri, it's very strong. Just try to break that turret. Nice. You broke shields. Good kill. Hmm. I think you had the right idea here. When the skatey ulted your teammates, you decided to go in and tank for them. I think you're just a bit late. Right here, I wish you keep going forward. You distract the skatey, if anything. But hopefully kill her in a 1v1 while she's distracted on your teammates. But instead we back up, we allow her to kill your teammate. And now it's just so late into the fight that it's just you. I think you had the right idea. 
Just go in there and attack the skatey while your teammates are dancing. It takes focus off them. And the skatey's already distracted with them anyway. Good ult. Good job TPing to your ult to get rid of the turret that's on you. The good fight mechanics there. Well played. I'll dive the yacht. Watch out for the skatey on the left. Actually, you hit your letter. Perfect play flanking here. Now you want to get away. Well played. Perfect. Perfect. I say get away because when that turret's down, there's very low chance you're going to win the fight. But she picked it up for the shields, which gave you a really good opportunity to go in. The trade here by the yacht, it's just natural. It happens. You're not going to get out of every fight alive. It's a one for one trade. But that wasn't a fight you were supposed to win, but you played very well. Good ult on the skatey when your teammate's webbed. Ulting her puts pressure off your teammate. Just like before. I like that you push around this way. Now that you see this hive is what I call it. This injury probably has three shields on this ult. A turret there. When the turret's there, it's actually really good for you. Because you can wall clip the turret. And do 12,000 damage to the turret or whatever it is. And the entire shield will get used up by you wall clipping a turret. So I'd want you to go in there and break the shield or the turret. Yeah, fuck this fight. Just don't even fight this. Next fight though, an early priority is going to be getting that shield and turret down. You can break them by a wall clip there. That's no big deal. That's just unlucky they pushed up this far. You could have backed up more, but who expects them to push up like that? Now, your team can't die anymore, so you have to try your ass off to save your chemist every fight. Your team can't die, so I wouldn't be fighting this Yaw. Okay. On this last fight here, when the Yaw's ulting, the best thing you can do is not die. Because, you know... You're never going to kill the Yaw, really. I'm going to watch over this one more time and give some final notes. Basically, right here at the very start of the game, I'm going to double down and say you should probably be pushing up here. Especially because the Skadi's here. You want her to waste her web on you and just be ready for the web. That's the only thing that can insta-kill you on their team. So walk up. When you see Skadi pull out the little guitar, just use your ability to run away. Now if she doesn't have web, your Letta can go in. You can go in your Chemist. So right now we're doing nothing. And it's just like wasting time. It's fine because it's even, but you could be taking advantage here. The other team has so much space they could walk up and you guys are hiding in a little corner. It's not necessarily a bad thing, but you could be doing better things with your time. We have this fight right here where I wish you would go for this turret right away. I think you go for the health. You were basically full health. Fuck that. Go for this turret that's right above you guys. It's going to chip down your team. If you sit right below the turret and wall clip it a little bit, it won't be able to hit you back. You gotta get rid of that turret earlier. I think it should be your top priority in this case. Like, You can go for the Sindri, but she has a turret shooting your back. Or you could just take out the turret for free and then get her. The turret gives a lot more value than you might think. It's just chipping you down all game. Let me go in this fight while the turret's still chipping us down. It's very risky. So right here when you're coming up this alleyway, you, and right when you see the yacht and the Sindri, boom, the Skadi comes out too. You should use your ability and get the fuck out of there. Go behind you. This gap here is impossible to close, and using your ability to engage in a fight means you have no way of getting out of the fight if it goes bad. So if you ability in, you're just betting on a 2v1 win. Which against the Yana Skate, who's going to win this 2v1? It is not you, bro. But right here, you did a great job wall clipping this turret. You actually got rid of an entire shield, which is what I was talking about a bit ago. Every time you get the shields dead on the turret, it grabs new shields from the ultimate. This just chips away at the ultimate, so you never have to peek anything except this stupid turret. It's a great job there. 
On this fight here, you can utilize the wall clip a little bit more. I know a lot of players think it's some pussy shit and they don't like the wall clip. But when your teammates are dancing, you can hide behind this wall and shoot the skatey. She'll have no way of countering you. And she does keep walking up, but just make sure you're hugging this wall here. I would be wall clipping the shit out of her. Especially because it is kind of a 3v1. Because both your teammates are dancing. But just lingering not near this wall clip right here is just wasting potential. You could be chipping free damage at her. Or at least charge up your beam by wall clipping, then reload and go in, and you have a full beam already. This fight's very winnable, but you have to use that wall clip there. Oh, if you don't know, another terminology for wall clip is the right hand peek. It's when you're peeking and they don't see you at all. And again, you could be wall clipping breaking this turret here. I think that is one thing you could do a lot more. With Shell on this map, the wall clip is so good. She reaches everywhere from just about every little wall. So, what I want this time is standing right here, just hitting the turret. Sindri's gonna shoot you eventually, but then your Aletta can go and flank or whatever. But it's, it's, it'd be more useful for you to wall clip that turret than whatever else happens here. We could have been breaking that turret the whole time. Both your teammates would probably be alive, because the Sindri just blew the shit out of them. But it's also important to get rid of that turret. It, that's a really OP turret spot with the shield. A more priority on breaking that, and the best way to break it is wall clipping. Thanks for the video, Mav. Overall, you did really good. I hope you learned something new. I had to get really picky on these things here because it was a great game played. I hope the viewers learned something new as well by watching your gameplay. And if anybody wants to see their videos on here and so I can give some tips to them, you can email me or DM me on Discord. Both are going to be in the description. Thank you for watching. Peace.